Hello, Apps here from Dimp Digital. Welcome to Buy It or Bin It. This is a brand new review series that will be focusing on indie games, episodic games, sports games, racing games, remasters, DLC add-ons and any other games or content that I don't consider to be a full-blown release or that doesn't have a defined ending. At the end of each video, rather than getting a grading and a score, you're just going to get my verdict on whether you should buy this game or bin it. On this inaugural episode of Buy It or Bin It, I am reviewing PlayStation exclusive Journey. Journey was actually released in 2012 on the PlayStation 3. It's developed by that game company and has finally been released on the current generation and onto the PlayStation 4. Now, this review is going to be very, very short because I am very reluctant about sharing what the game is about, uh, what you'll be doing, what your objectives are and what you ex you'll expect to encounter because I really do feel like it will spoil the game slightly for you. The, the game is about you embarking on your own personal journey and making these discoveries so I feel like if I told you what you, you get in for even for the first 15 minutes it would take the edge off the game a little bit. It's something that you should not go away and read about you really want to come in with no ideas no preconception of what you're going to experience and what's going to going to take place because you'll forge your own emotional connections to the world to the, to the others around you and to the to the characters that are within the game the story itself is excellent it doesn't use your typical sort of voiceovers and text to explain it. It's a unique way of storytelling, but I, I enjoyed it, and I'm sure you guys at home will. You can see just how beautiful the game is as well. It runs at 1080p, 60 frames per second, for those of you that are interested in those stats. Um, and it's just a pleasure to, to wander around in the in the warm and enticing atmosphere that, that's created. And in a modern gaming society where big open world, first-person shooters, sports simulators, these all dominate the charts, the journey shows that, you know, with spark of creativity and some thoughtful game design that there are still unique game experiences out there being crafted and they are on par with these big blockbuster releases. With a running time of between two and three hours you're not going to get months and months of content out of Journey. But don't, don't let this put you off because it's not really a factor of the game, it's one of those things where the experience itself pays for the money you spend and it's just so unique and so good that it really doesn't matter that it only lasts for these two or three hours. Instead, what you should do is shut the door, get everyone else out of the house, close your curtains, turn your fucking phone off, and give Journey your full attention for these two to three hours. Sit there, complete it in one sitting, don't be disturbed, and trust me, you'll have a great time playing through Journey. I know it won't be long before I evict everyone out of my house, I close the door, turn my phone off, shut the windows, shut the curtains, do everything I can to be completely private and go through journey just another time. I'm going to do it multiple times, I'm sure you guys at home if you do commit to bias will do the same. It's borderline a masterpiece and it is an absolute gem. Now you've probably guessed and I've actually given away whether, whether I should recommend this game or not but let's do the formalities anyway. Journey. Buy it or bin it. Fucking buy it. Yeah!